Hello guys, and welcome to episode 2 of Crusader Kings 3, a game of thrones, where we are playing as Lord Randall Tarly of the West March, and already, just by looking at our size compared to some of the other duchies, you can see our power in the reach has grown by a decent amount, and while we were not as famous nor successful in the wars as we did, nonetheless we still find ourselves in a very interesting situation here we we taking a look at everything here we have an unmarried robert as ruler and now we have willis that's right willis tyrell in charge of the reach but what i'm interested in is who is in charge of dragonstone robert is in charge of dragonstone so renly is just left as the third son here as stannis is currently robert's heir does stannis not wish to marry Guess we'll have to see what happens there, because Cersei is dead. Cersei was murdered at the age of 23, and her father died in mysterious circumstances. The, the Lannisters don't seem to be doing very well at all. We are currently at war with Garth, uh, a claimant to the uh, title of Highgarden that I'm sure Willis will be happy to see us rid. Um, Let's see. Is he gregarious, greedy, or is he lustful? Which one's gregarious? Because lustful's a very good trait. Gregarious is also a fine trait. Gregarious is a great trait, actually. I just couldn't think of it off the top of my head. Definitely give him that. And we will take some counter-efficiency. Like, we are dominating these, these early wars here. I think we're already one of the, the strongest powers in the Reach. Just attacking us again and again. Not going great for him. And this will give us a border with Brightwater, who should be our... Yes, they are our um, father-in-law through our marriage to Melissa. So we could, we could get an alliance with them if they would be interested, which they would be. There we go, we captured Garth. I mean, have a new alliance in Brightwater. Let's enforce these demands and let our armies rest. And Alan died. However, it's still a Tarly in charge here. And I'm going to give... I want the Tarlies to have a decent bit of power within West March. So, two Tarlies with Tarly boys with a lot of power. Could I be his guardian? I could impart his values. But I could not... I, I'm already training too. What imparting values could I give? Arrogant. I will, I will give him the trait just. What trait could I... Am I able to impart values? No, I'm not because I'm your guardian. I mean, his traits are kind of fine. Bossy is a child trait, obviously, but gregarious, generous, cynical, and content. Certainly not bad. Not bad at all. Hmm. Let's see. The Lord can't be trusted. My vassals have my support. Uh, I could petition him at least. First, before I petition him, I want to pay homage to him. And we will... Bestow gifts. Sure. Let's go. Should be just a quick one. Because I want to get my... Appeal up with him. Let's get improved pastures, hopefully. Yes, indeed. I could go inside again. Well, we're not going inside for long, because now we're going to petition the liege. And we are going to see if he will grant our claim. Off we go. I'll take the dread, actually. I really like getting dread up vents. Uh, okay. 58% chance. It worked. Bloody hell. Look at that. Already proven our power. So we have basically solidified our position here in the West much. Only these smaller houses decide, which I don't especially care about yet. That that can be, if Sam wants to deal with them, Sam can deal with them. My only thoughts now is either Darstone to control both sides or Old Hills. But for now, just getting this full sort of border with the river here and being right next to High Garden, I think it sort of solidifies us in... Hopefully the eyes of our king, or our uh, Lord Paramount, as his protector, because we we protect him. 
if you get my meaning. Of course, we don't actually protect him. We do what we want. Aelin Hunt. Hunt is... And I'm going to give it to Hunt here. So Hunt already has this title here, but the reason I'm giving this to Hunt as well is Hunt is... They aren't, like, a direct uh, family alongside us. I want to make that clear. They're not, like, a brother family. However, they are the... As far as I'm aware, they are the other family forged by... Um, I can't remember the name off the top of my head. So basically, the two sons of Garth the Gardener, who basically founded the Reach. But Garth the Gardener had two twin sons who founded Horn Hill and basically founded House Tarly. But they also, the other brother, uh, formed House Hunt. So I like giving some land to House Hunt and House Tarly. I think it makes sense. What diligence do you give me? Learning? No, he can learn. I don't need learning. I'm already a Chad. <laughs> I could give Dickon vengeful, deceitful, or calm. Vengeful. I'm training him how to be a warrior. Although he's a worse warrior than Sam. Look at Sam. In fact, stewardship's the only thing he's not that good at. I would like Dickon Tarly to become the squire of Anakin Thorin. As a squire? Yes. Yes, I'd love him to become a squire. Am I not a knight? No, I am a knight. A betrothal between Tala Tarly. So who would this get me married with? Maidenpool. No. <laughs> that does show me that Tyler does need a marriage. I could get married to the Royces to House Darkdell, which is at least closer because Darkdell is a, is a reach house. Uh, Darkdell's on the other side of High Garden. Darkdell makes sense. Um, Darkdell makes a lot of sense. As is Awkward Way. They're just a minor house inside of a larger house. Um... Or I could get married to... Oh, no, I think he wouldn't get married to some that old. Runestone's a great one. But I think, in this case, Darkdale makes a lot of sense. Especially the age. Matrilineal? No, of course he won't. It's his heir. Or it's, actually, it's him. He's not the heir. He is the lord. I got an unpressed claim on the lordship of Stenard. Where the hell is Stenard? It's inside Darkstone. Wow. I'm going to see if, uh, if I can just get a claim on... Because it's no one says it's not their capital. It is Hayloth, which is their capital. Or Hayholt, sorry, which is their capital. Another hunt? Where would this be? Ooh, it's a little far. You know what? He likes hunting. Uh, let's give Sam a little bit of prestige. This is a, a timeline, as I mentioned, where Sam is just like... An incredible heir. <laughs> um, an intrigue challenge. Re oh! Reduce cost of sampling chivalry by a thousand. Chivalry's a pretty good one. I, I do that. So, one thing I do know is so i haven't mentioned but in the comments or in the description of last episode you guys may have seen that um it's not invitation whereas it is the dynasty tree <laughs> dynasty the other one legacy is house tarly has their own custom one here because of the one of the mods we have and this is a very interesting one so we already start with uh, opinions from a lot of these sort of um cultures within and a little bit of prestige but look at this prowess max size of archers archer damage martial for all of our rulers more prowess archer size again stress gain army movement archers number of captains captain effectiveness and friendly fatigue like this is the fact they all have their own descriptions as well oh here we go this one even tells us it was harlan the hunter and herndon of the horn horn hill built horn uh so built Hornhill and founded the Tarleys. Harlan Hunter also built Hornhill, but he would form House Hunt. There you go. And the Richmond also have their own dynasty, which is from the base mod. And this is a very good one because it gives a fuck ton of development growth. Let's get out there. I don't know which I would actually pick of those for um, our next dynasty trait. Okay, we're trying to corner a boar. This is quite perilous. Let's get... Yeah... Deacon Talon is going to train to join the Knights Guard. <sighs> he is my next... Yeah, because it means he can't inherit anyway, right? A fine kill! Excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh, my. Look at that. 
so is that for me no it's for the one who hosted it but that's still a very um something i can brag about <laughs> I have no interest in giving you a fair fight. Let's just trample him. The thing, the thing about Randall Tarly is he is not a great man. He is a bit of a twat, especially in the books. In the show, has a couple scenes of him just being an absolute dick to Sam, and people are like, "Oh, he's a dick because he's a dick to Sam," and it's like, "Yeah, that's what you know they want you to think that because that's how it works." But he, he, in general, is just an utter piece of work. <laughs> he is... Um, there's plenty of examples I can use for it. But just... Because um, I don't want to give huge spoilers. Just look at what he does um, <laughs> after switching to the la the uh, target... The quote-unquote Baratheon's actually Lannister's side. I'm going to get 27 so I can build a godswood here. Do I... Why would I have a godswood? Is there actually a godswood in this region? I guess I'll build the godswood because it gives me levies, but I wasn't expecting that. Right, let's look at what we can do for Sam here. Uh, I don't really want to get married to anyone Dornish. Do I want to do the gamey thing and have a look at... I'll have a quick look at who has actually got uh, inheritable traits, just to see. I mean... <sighs> A lot of Martels. There are a lot of Martels. So we have, yeah, one of Oberyn's kids, one of the Sand Snakes. An incredible, incredible wife. Princess Bela, daughter of King Robert. So Robert has a wife now. Oh, no, that's his daughter with Bessie. That's his, uh, although he did get married. He married Marjorie. Wow, he married Marjorie. Okay. So Marjorie still ends up working away onto the bloody throne. And already he's had uh, Princess Alyssa as a child and... Oh no, that can't be her child, right? No, yeah, they're all, they must all be bastards, right? They are all bastards. It's him doing the bloody eight, isn't it? <laughs> I was going to say, because she's 16. There's no way they've had kids. So we're not going to get married to a bastard born of Bessie. Thank the gods for Bessie. And we, I think Sorella Sand is an incredible pick. Look. We've been working so long against Dawn that it could be good to build up some strength with Dawn. After all, you never know when you need a outside alliance. Let's put it that way. Um, let's get our dread and our control growth up. Do we need any control? We do in Greenmore. I'm not. I'm not going to play as him. But it, look, Aegon. King Aegon, a Targaryen claimant, has landed in the Lordship of Rosby with the exiled Lord John. It is, it is Lord Chicago and 10,000 men under the command of Harry of the Golden Company. As the memory of Aegon the Conqueror's deposed dynasty resurfaces, Westeros is once again at war. Banners will be called. Oh my. And now we can pick. I will join on Robert's side. Because while, while he is a bit of a Targaryen sympathizer, um, because he, he just is. We'll talk about this in a sec, but he, he is a Targaryen sympathizer just in general, um, Randall. And he still sort of has thoughts about them after they are deposed. He is loyal to Mace, and Mace is obviously... Oh, sorry, Willis now is going to stand against them because he's the Reach. But also he, you know, he it's good to get in the King's favor. And I don't think this rebellion has a great chance, but how's it looking? It's a very balanced war. So 21 allies, so a lot of... So it's 21 allies versus 13 allies. So a lot of small houses on his side and a lot of larger houses on Robert's side. But Dawn is against, right? Yeah, so Dawn is allied with the Targaryen host. The Lannisters are neutral. The Trident is against them. The North... Well, obviously, Benjen won that. <laughs> Rob is still his heir, which I find funny. But Benjen is neutral, because the Vale would be. And the Vale is neutral. Also, the big houses don't seem to join. A lot of small houses are joining here for Aegon. Let's kill these bastards in Wakefield. I have the numbers to kill both of them here. Yes, and we are going to do so. These guys were our allies, and I don't even care. <laughs> Dark Dell, you may be my ally, but you are going to be punished. As are you. You're a disgrace to House Tarly. An utter disgrace. Let's re-siege these lands. 
Willis is just seemingly trying to scare the Golden Groves and all of this out of his uh, areas, which I do not blame you, buddy. That's what I would do. I mean, there's slightly better options, but I think Sam would be a good pick here, because Sam's a powerful lord, so he would want um, some title here. Oh, look at this. Willis is going, is just popping off. Willis is a decent... No, Willis is not actually a good commander at all. He's got terrible prowess too. But nonetheless, he's fighting. And that, that's inspiring to see a man like him fight. Patient or trusting? They both suck, so I'll go with patient. What are we looking at here as well? I'm in line to inherit titles. Don't really care. Uh, I will get some money for this ransom though. Thank you. Aegon's host is not doing well here. That's for sure. I will say this is at least better than the um, Aegon's host I had to deal with. Oh, and I'm going to get absolutely slaughtered because Mace is nowhere near me. And there goes my army. Right, let's move to meet with Mace. In fact, maybe I can catch these guys before. No, okay, they've already switched. Come on, Mace, let's go together. They killed my Castilian. Uh, do I have anyone who's good here? Yeah, let's get you. Switch to that. After them! Come, Willis! I keep calling him Mace because I keep expecting it to be Mace. No! Where are you going? Let's siege an old town. I guess he doesn't care about old town. Hmm. I don't like them being my this close to my border, but I can't... If he's not going to come and assist, it can't really assist. What's this now? Orchard Way wants to marry Sansara? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Another alliance and Orchard Way are a, a decent ally to have because they're close to us. Right, let's st stay with the Reach then. This this war is already far in our favour. Sieging down Old Town here isn't going to do huge for them. I just have to hope that they don't siege down Horn Hill. Oh, here's why we're moving because they're trying to land in... Um... Let's just kill these guys quick. And then let's come join the Battle for King's Landing. Bloody hell. Bees are stinging me. Why am I in my garden while I'm also fighting? Tear up the bloody garden. I'm tired of bees. Let's kill the young Griff. So what I'm wondering, if this is young Griff, where the hell is John? Is John out there too? Let's kill them. Young Griff is treating. So that's Young Griff's host. So the Targaryen host is all based here. How are we looking? They are sieging down my lands. They're not sieging down Horn Hill, but they are sieging down my bloody lands. <sighs> a wise command. He, I am a wise commander, and a wise commander would simply see the the actual threat here and pursue that. No. Oh, no, I have to keep doing this online because I'm going for the duchy. I think we can make a huge thing here if we if we go after Rosby. If we seize Rosby, this is over, lads. Like, I don't know why we're sieging these lands. But I'm going to go stand on Rosby and see if anyone comes and joins me. No? No, I have to wait for them. Okay. <laughs> this is the one thing that gets me about these large armies is you just have to bloody wait for them to siege down these completely random locations as we, we saw in the first episode this this exact thing happened marry the arbor excellent lord harris of rusting expects it what's he good at he's an okay learner but I, he can't be my septum and lord samuel was already my spy master uh die in a ditch <laughs> that's what you can do i can deliver a speech about unity I can have them whipped. I'll try and deliver a speech about unity. Bloody hell, let's, let's join in. <laughs> He's like, well, my speech didn't work. Everybody's fighting. Let's fucking go! <laughs> uh, do, I'll take this. I was about to say, I don't need the naval speed, but siege drop and effectiveness is very good for all our future wars as well. Because it seems like, I was going to say that there may not be too many wars for um, Randall to face, but bloody hell, there's already been two majors and this has been technically a balanced war in terms of sort of the attending but the problem here right is that they're sieging down that well, they are sieging down Horn Hill. why are they sieging down horn hill rather than assisting the armies in the north do they just single-handedly hate randall darley which is what we've learned here is that uh the armies hate randall darley 
I'm going to start sieging down Rosby. Fuck them. Come join me in sieging down Rosby if you ain't a coward. Employ both strategies. <sighs> they, they are... I'm actually going to lose a lot of money because of this war. So I'm going to have to try and petition Willis after this war to at least give me something here. We'll move back. Wait for them to finish this bloody siege. It doesn't matter. How things looking in Hornhill? Can I... I just don't want my kids to be in danger, is a thing. Not because I like them, just because it it affects my position. And everybody knows this. Randall Tully does not care about his children. Drove can marry. We'll make that happen. Uh... Samantha's a fine name. When naming kids after yourself is a genius move. <sighs> it's unfortunate that we, we are going to lose Hornhill here. Yeah, look at this. The entire army is now just sieging down the West March. Is it because I'm a player? Like, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, CK3 does stuff for this. Why would they siege down the West Marches? Rather than protect Rosby or take King's Landing. King's Landing is right next to them. They literally start next to their key objective and they do not take it. Why are we? Go why are they going to King's Landing? They're just ignoring Rosby. Are we going to fight them? Are we going to try and take my Horn Hill back? Huh? I don't think we are. I think we're just doing completely random stuff. Come on, let's go on. Let's get Horn Hill back for me. Come on. And now I have to wait for them to catch up because they're slower than me. By the time we get there, Horn Hill might be gone. Come on, let's get Horn Hill. Come on. I'm expecting that you're, you're all coming here because you love Randall Tarly and you want to sh be sure that Randall Tarly's homelands are safe. Or are we just going to High Tower for the fuck of it? What's, what, what, what's the plan here, lads? Okay, we're just CG we're taking this land next to Horn Hill rather than Horn Hill itself. And Ulrich Strongbox is leading this against Lord Roland Goatbeard of Crake Hall. Thick as Phoebes. Uh, let's be their friends. Right, this is a major battle. Of, this is a battle about the size of war, basically, and it's already over. I have been hosting your counselor, Edmund, for several weeks, and he's helped me truly see the splendor of your realm. Well, you are my son, so I think you probably like me anyway. At least you like me in the timeline where I didn't tell you I'm going to hunt you to death. Could we unseat my lands, please? Okay, had a minor crash there. But uh, CK3 crashes. Minor crashes actually are minor crashes. So hopefully that won't impact everything badly. I'm, I'm, I'm not having as much fun with this as I do with CK2. I think that's sort of clear from my demeanor a little bit. But I'm still having fun. I am having fun just a little bit less. This game could certainly be just a little bit better. <laughs> Alright, looks like the main army has caught the, the armies here. And it's just absolutely brutalizing them. Yeah, these other armies are coming in to try and help, but it's already a lost cause, and I don't know why they're doing that. And now the old towers have also been caught. Am I going to get the siege done? Oh, no, I won't, because it doesn't matter. Because he lost. Young Griff has been exiled. Oh, no, he, he's not an exile. He's just been... He is in jail. Uh, let's get this army down. You may rest. Uh, we don't need a Grand Tony. Is he a good knight? No, he's a terrible knight. <laughs> a mighty victory there. And a little bit of money too. We can get a marriage for... I believe this is the one who's married to... Uh, Darkdell. Uh, I guess Darkdell's not an option anymore. <laughs> What's the... Lord Mace the Reach makes sense. So try and get... Yeah, let's, let's get ourselves in with the Reach. I need Mace to see me as the Chad I am. Let's hope this wound heals as well. What's our health like? We're feeling fine, but we, we could do with this wound gone. Uh, let's get some control. Accept the ransom. Maybe we'll get scarred and be all cool and get handsome attraction out of this. 
I've only got one kill, and it was for the one I burned at the stake. <laughs> a feast? I do not go to feasts. Well, we're looking at a stable position here now that uh, Aegon has been been thwarted. The the Mummer's Dragon has been defeated. He was he was not Aegon in my mind, and even if he was, fuck the Targaryens. That does I, 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 that does make me wonder what's going to happen with John. A lot could happen. What could I even petition for? Just capital development. Um, sure. Give me capital development, please. And while that happens, I'm going to do some building of some barracks and in cornerstone we'll build up the mine or the quarry rather get him some shoes what sure we'll buy him some shoes so if i give him a favor he'll do it fine i have no problem with getting a favor there it's good because now to petition my lord i'm only traveling through uh, friendly land My hook on Samuel has expired. Well, maybe I should have increased his contract. <laughs> Why can I seduce my son? We're not going to question that. Is he... Samuel is homosexual. <laughs> didn't ch didn't look at that. Didn't realise that. <laughs> well, that's a very different Samuel to the, uh, to the books. <laughs> And he's married, he's married to one of the sads, but he's... Okay. And what's Stick on up to? He's a knight. Uh, what can we get for you? I could send him to the Night's Watch, but that would not be a good idea. Looks like the King's Guard, guard doesn't want him, but he's got decent prowess, and he's got decent marshals, so he, he can be... He can be a, a knight for us. Although he's refusing marriage, isn't he? Yeah, he's refusing marriage because he does want to be a king's guard. Let's see what we can get. So this would give me... Oh, it's only for 10 years. I'll take the lifestyle perk, I think. Do I want strate... I, do, I think I want strategist. Because uh, I don't know how gallant I think uh, you would call him. <laughs> Still wounded. Gonna be wounded for a while apparently. It's my mace is not my mace is good. Why is he not doing anything? Is my wife cheating on me? Okay, apparently she's not, but we'll see about that. My child has died! Oh no. Only 18. Let's get a master of the hunt because I should be a master of the hunt. And my son can be the captain of my household guard. Dick, and also the Master of Horse. And where's the other one that gives? Is there another one that gives any military bonuses? Yeah, this one gives army movement speed, which is not great. But... Garland. Sure. I'm fine paying a little... Like, these titles are, gives them decent bonuses here. I mean, I've got high prowess, so let's go with the one that gives. That's for high prowess. Strategist. And there we go. We have healed and now we are scarred. War horse, yes! I can now ride a mighty horse into battle. Oh, so they did. They do also actually name the. Uh, rename the horses after. Um, for the mod, rather than sticking with the CK2 ones, which was obviously based off real history. Uh. Glory, God's grief! I love, I love God's grief. That is a uh, Lionel Baratheon, I believe, is God's grief. Uh, oh, we have another one already. A man's home. What does Gallant give? Just so I can pick between these, because I want to complete maybe two of these trees before I switch. I think we'll go for Gallant. Let's try and get Gallant, and then I either want to get health. Or a bit of stewardship. Not sure yet. Don't need a grand tourney though. I'd rather spend that money on... Oh, we're already building. Okay, perfect. Spouse acting on my behalf. Why is she acting on my behalf? 
brings him a firm reminder of my rights to rule. Um, it makes her not like me that much. But, like, I'm a dickhead. <laughs> so, Randall Tarly is a famous dickhead. So we'll pick the dickhead option. No, I cannot, unless you tell me that I can take all of it, and in which case I absolutely can. <laughs> See, I'm not humble, I just want more land than what you're offering. Because I'm a dick. Shallow ore mines have been upgraded. Wonderful. Let's upgrade them again. Let's keep the train rolling. Uh, negotiating allies, nah. Could change his contract though, yes. So another 100 troops or one. Neither of those is great. I could get title revocation. But that protects him from it, what am I on about? Now let's keep my war horse. Um, I don't want any of these to give him, so I just. Let's get his feudal levy, levy up and use his hook. What's our development? 12 development. Much better. And we have the station regiments in both. I want to save a bit of cash so I can build up the army a little bit. Because if we... No, if we went to war with Darson, we'd win easy. Oh! We are at war with the Rock. Looks like we're finally going for Kevin Lannister of all the people who end up with it. Runeblade. What, did he get his family blade back? No, he did not at all. But he he is taken over. I guess Tyrion must have died. Yes, yeah, so Tyrion died without a child. Yeah, without a child. So now Kevin is the Emperor of the Rock. An independent nation. But Robert is not having it. And Robert is going right in to take them over. Well, you know what they say, Robert. You son of a bitch, cap me in. Can I join? Let's join. I want to be involved in every war. That's the kind of man I am. Prove myself in every battle. Let's meet with Robert's uh, forces up here. Robbie B, it's me. Let's go. Let's go right for their ca their capital. Like, who's going to stop us? Let's try and not take much attrition. I'm going to try and take a low attrition route here. Though that's a high attrition route. I think it's just the rivers seem to be what's causing the attrition. So I want to take a route with them. Oh, they're down here. Let's just take the armies because we significantly outnumber their army. So is this Sam? No, this is Samantha's child. Dennis. Has has Sam had a son or has he only had daughters? He has had a son. And he named him Samuel Tully. And he's a genius. So he was only intelligent. And she was only intelligent, but both being intelligent, they produced a genius. I would love to be your guardian, young boy. <laughs> Absolutely. Right, let's get this battle going. Ah, oh, the Lannisters stand no chance. Look at that. Is Kevin leading the army here? What's what's the? No, it's uh, Norwin Steelheart. But he is going right up against Robert. Robert is not afraid to lead his armies. And by not afraid, I mean it's literally the only thing he lives for is leading armies. Has he grown fat yet? You've grown fat! Oh, yes, he has. He's growing fatter each day. Although his wife is pregnant, by the looks of it. Yes, she is pregnant. And she's had two princesses. Who And the heir is currently Miriam, because the rest are all bastards. Edric, Alyssa, Barra, Bella, and Mia. Thank the gods for Bessie. Let's get them again. Come on. Look, Robert, I'm your best friend. I'm such a good and famous fighter. You should uh, like me more than the Tyrells, because the Tyrells suck. What if I just follow him? What if I head towards King's Landing? Oh, 
Okay, I, I'm losing too much to attrition to actually fight for King's Landing. I'm losing even more by attrition again by coming back. Is there any way to come back without taking attrition here? No, I'm going to take at least one attrition. So I'll take the one attrition. Come here to Sherwood. Sherwood? Stillwood. Bloody Robin Hood out here. <laughs> Um, am I going to get help here? No. I'm literally winning. I'm actually going to win this if I get any help. No. No. Thanks. You're an incredible king, Robert. I really, I really want to like CK3. I genuinely want to enjoy CK3. I don't, I feel like this is a, a gameplay series. I shouldn't be complaining so much, but like, come on. <laughs> Anything smart you do is just undone by the AI wanting to siege down a random fort again. Why does he want to siege down that fort? Your guess is as good as mine. It really is. Because the way that he's going to beat the Lannisters is by sieging down Cornfield and... Bro Broughton, the fake version of Brighton, which isn't even coastal for some reason. Alright, we're not going to get any um, replenishment because we're not in friendly lands here. And Lord Willis is on a regency. Why? What's he doing? What are you doing? Why you, why you got a regent? Oh, he's had a feast or something. And my maester died. Let's get a new maester. Maybe a better maester. Okay, they just got their army just over there doing nothing. Sounds about right. Is Robert going after them? Probably. You know what, Robert? Good on you. You you go kill him. Maybe I should just go sit in Castle Rock for a bit. <laughs> We're gonna have here. Gonna get it. Still more time on that siege. This army alone will defeat him. Like, this war's basically over. Let's expand our army. We're gonna rest. And Sam died. Oh my goodness. What killed him? He fell from the window of his bedchamber to his death. There's no way that's not an assassination, surely. Well, I guess let's train young genius Samuel here, because he's now my heir. And I'll be your guardian. That did end my alliance with Prince Oberyn, but by the looks of it, Prince Oberyn wasn't much of an ally in the first place. Let's assign you. No one rides God's grief but me. He's my horse. That must be like a hundred by now. In horse years. I don't know how horse years work. Or if they aim the same way we do. Age. The same way we do. <laughs> Slipping over words now. Uh, I can change my grandson's contracts. Tiny bit more money. Not much more levies. I still take the much uh, tiny bit more levies. He has a, he can fit three holdings. Why is my kid that much better than me? Like, jeez. He's a genius compared to me. Alright, go kill him, Robert. This is literally his final army, and you run away. Oh, and nope, you're coming back. And now you're, you're attacking with your smaller army first. Am I leading a battle here? No, I'm back home. But apparently in the chaos of battle, something's happened. And I showed vigor, even though I'm not at the battle. Just pursue him. Just take. Just pursue him to the rock, because I feel like you're at you're at the battle limit. Yeah, you have to siege. Well, he's gonna siege random provinces instead. How um. How incredible, these games are. I'm going grey in the beard now. Fifty years old. It's a sunny day. Let's go train with God's grief. Absolutely. 
What a bright young star this kid is, though. Oh, I'm actually going to train him in. He'd be a terrible steward, he'd be a good diplomat, or he'd be decent intrigue. Can I train a marshal? Question mark? Because diplomacy's not a great... I guess we'll train him in diplomacy, then. He's, he's, he's a decent hunter. He's at least a good hunter. So he, like... He won't get hunted down and killed in the, um... <laughs> In a hunt. By me. Yeah, reveal the secret, Lord Marlin. Long live the king. King Lancel is now leading the war because King Kevin died. So Lancel Lannister, of all people, is the Lord of Winter, of uh, Lord of uh, the Westerlands. Don't know why I said Winterfell. But this war is over now. And he is now a vassal under Robert. Well, we will call it there for this second episode. I've recorded episode one and two back to back. And it's clear I maybe shouldn't have because it has not been a great mood. <laughs> it's a fun game. It's a fun game. But CK2 is just better. Uh, we will continue this. Uh, I think definitely we'll, things are looking good for House Starley. And we can continue to grow if you're interested in seeing that. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.